What's up, YouTube? It's Friday, and it's another edition of Headbutt Coffee, episode 3, with Nate. I really should get some special guests to come on the show. It's kind of boring with just me. Really quickly, thank you to that guy on Facebook. Uh, he made a remix to a uh, Tekken song for our channel, which is awesome, and I'm going to unveil it right now on this channel. So check it out. Here it is. What's up? Thank you guys very much for joining me again with another episode of Headbutt Coffee uh, where we discuss the topics of the hour in the thrift dweller world. I'll just get into it really. The biggest thing this week, for people who don't know, I have a side project. I'm running our city's first retro video game event. I don't want to call it a uh, convention yet because I don't feel like it's big enough. So we just call it Retro Gamers Unite, a video game event in support of Lighthouse Mission, our city's longest running homeless shelter. It's, it's coming close. Like I said, it's two weeks away. I'm feeling the pressure. My basement is a mess. I have a baby on the way from my wife and she's, uh, well, she's been very, she's been very understanding. I'll say that. I really should be spending more time with her, but really it's only two weeks away. And as soon as that's done, 100% focus on the family. Got to get the baby room done and all that sweet jazz. So I uh, actually took a little tour with the camera. I'll show you that right away. Show you how messy this basement really is. Yeah, so uh, this is the game room. It's a bit of a mess. I was actually, I don't know, something hit me that I had to rearrange my game room. So if you remember, this TV actually used to be over there, and this couch used to be over here. And I switched it around for no freaking reason, just I'm OCD like that. Um, the PlayStation shelf kind of just stayed over there. This one, I love this poster, by the way. It's from Nintendo Club Points. I got it a few months ago, and I framed it. This IKEA frame was actually only 14 bucks from... Uh, yeah, Ikea. Came with the matting and everything, and I thought it looked really sweet. Street Fighter. Everybody loves Street Fighter. I got these Dance Performance 3 pads from one of our sponsors for the retro video game event. Uh, p, p Games gave that to me. There's another one, second one. I thought the graphic looked really cool, actually. I might keep one for myself. They got that for free. Somebody actually just dumped it on their doorstep, and they said, Here, take it for your event. Haha. <laughs> Everything else really relatively is the same. What's up here? Oh yeah, some recent acquisitions. Road Rash 3. So happy to get that game. Shining in the darkness. Sweet! Now this is really what I wanted to show everybody. The basement is a mess. As I said, I am planning a retro video game charity event. And uh, it's pretty much consumed a lot of my life. It's two weeks away, there's lots of stuff to do. The group is really working hard to get it all done, but yeah, man, it's nuts. The arcade, which I haven't shown yet this season. I will show it this season, promise. This one, this is one of our silent auction prizes. It's a uh, extra large tracksuit from Nike from Foot Locker. That's pretty sweet. My friend's like, oh, I'll get extra large because all gamers are big. Uh, there's a PlayStation package here. Most of these games were donated from Limestone Gamer. We have two prizes here for the... Uh, Retro Master Challenge, our group is uh, hosting two challenges for people to try to set the top score in the city for uh, two games. These games over here, we're trying to see how far people can get in one life on Super Mario Bros. And if, I guess, two people beat the game or whatever, they tie for a stage, the points will be the ultimate uh, tiebreaker. I know you, Kyle, you've been practicing. You want to come to Winnipeg, set, set the score, show Winnipeg what's up, you're welcome to come down. And we're trying to set course record for Mario Circuit 1. There you go. Retro Gamers Unite, April 5th. Be there or be square, bruh. Uh, since this cabinet is no longer in the game room, I kind of switched it up a little bit inside there. It used to be all video game stuff in here. And, I don't know, the last shelf is probably still going to stay Zelda. That's still going to stay Mario shelf. This is a Star Scream. I think this one was from Walmart. Just freaking gorgeous. I got that uh, early 2014. It was like 4 bucks. My two Iron Man toys from the thrift store. These were like two bucks a piece. I just thought it looked cool. Kind of looks like statues, so yeah, I'm cheap. And these puppets from Street Sharks. I don't know if anyone remembers Street Sharks. The uh, anthropomorphized animals. Did I use that word right? Anthropomorphized? Lester and Nate are the tag team champions of YouTube. <laughs> now, for the event that I'm doing, Retro Gamers Unite, uh, they've been getting us to go on to these morning talk shows and stuff. And they asked us to bring some things to, I guess, display on the show or whatever. And uh, usually there'd be a Super Nintendo in here. I bust out the factory sealed uh, 
Legend of Zelda for the Nintendo. This is the second release of it. This one, I was actually going to send this out to Ed T1138. Sorry, Ed. This is a factory sealed Star Strike. Uh, he was bugging me how he's going to open it and tell me what 1980 smells like. And I'll send that to him. If he opens it, I, can't, I don't have the heart to open it. But if I send it to him, I'm sure he'll open it. And I'm sure it's going to make a good video. Everyone seems to love Punch-Out. There you go, Punch-Out. I got these box protectors, actually. They're starting to sell these locally now. Super Mario Land 2, six golden coins. If you remember last Headbutt Coffee, I said if I ever retired, this would be my greatest find at the thrift store. Five bucks. I show an Atari off just to, you know, give some flavor, not just all Nintendo stuff. Of course, the uh, fighting game that changed it all in the 90s, Street Fighter 2. The Eternal Battle, Lester vs. Nate. Uh, Kevin sent over this stuff as well, Limestone Gamer, really helping out Winnipeg's retro video game scene. Uh, he sent over four game cubes, complete game cubes. Uh, we're gonna need these for our tournament. We're doing a Super Smash Brothers two on two tournament. Limestone Gamer also sent over this bag. There's a uh, game gear in that bag. To give. <sighs> oh, this video is going too long. Here, I'll open all these up for you. Uh, this box has T-shirts. These are all Soul Calibur Broken Destiny T-shirts. That's gonna be giveaways at the event. We have uh, my items for sale. What do we have in here? Couple video games, Pokemon toys, what have you. Prize table box. We're gonna have just a table full of prizes to give away. You know, we're gonna organize uh, mini one single elimination tournaments and stuff. And the more prizes we have, the more stuff we can just give away. We're also trying to make sure kids win. So, a couple of these. I picked this up last time I was out visiting the Sega Stoner. So, it was pretty cool to see that again. Liquidation store in the city was selling a bunch of these Fruit Ninja. Uh, toys so or plushies bought a bunch of those for cheap giveaways Another box of giveaways. These are really cool actually You know how like uh, Comic cons in San Diego have like exclusive games and figures for just their events. This is the not so exclusive retro gamers Winnipeg uh, Ash and Misty not so exclusive. We found them at a liquidation store bought a bunch of them I think we bought all of them actually and we're gonna give a lot of those away at the event so you see one box of that here, pretty much this box is full of those, and this is full of Pokeballs. But yeah man, life is a mess, back to the computer. So as you saw in that video, I rearranged the room a little bit. Shout out to Limestone Gamer, he obviously has supported us very well. Sent over tons of great stuff for us to use at our event, so thank you very much to him. Don't forget to subscribe to him, I'll put his link right there, or in the description below. Today was really cool, actually. we. Uh, it's our second interview with local radio. We did one for a morning show. It was like a three-minute thing with me and 24B Gamer, also known as Ed. He's the uh, second person who I told about this uh, video game club that we did in Winnipeg called Retro Gamers Winnipeg. And uh, hence it made him the co-founder, really, of the thing. So uh, him and I have been spending a lot of time together. No days off. Every day off really is going to doing this event. It's a labor of love and passion. We love retro video games and we're trying to promote uh, retro video games in Winnipeg and hopefully people will like it and hopefully it's not an epic fail. If you haven't checked it out, you can check it out on Facebook, facebook.com slash retrogamerswinnipeg. Uh, there's links to our website there and all the things that we're doing. Uh, we're doing a Super Smash Brothers 2 on 2 tournament, we're calling it uh, the first ever Retro Gamers Winnipeg Tag Team Champions. It's fun, like there's other groups in the city that do tournaments in a more competitive atmosphere, but we're going to be more geared towards just uh, having fun, you know, getting together, letting retro gamers unite and have fun. And that's really the main, uh, the main focus. Bam! What's up? I'm a little wired right now. I know it's headbutt coffee and I don't have headbutt coffee. Real Canadian water. Responding to some comments from last week. I kind of made a comment that today's video game market is crazy, and I would hate to be someone like Ian Beardman. Fight okay. for New York for. I sort of think GameCube uh, might be worth the I most. I see that all the time, though. I you do. You see them all the time, but first. From our group, who is like. Who's just starting to be a, uh, a retro game collector now with the prices that games are. It's crazy. Uh, some comments left below. The most interesting one that I liked was GTV News for Gamers, local channel as well. Uh, they said that the current retro video game market resembles the comic book market of the early 90s. What does that mean for you youngins out there who didn't live through the 90s? Uh, people started collecting comic books like crazy, like baseball cards and hockey cards was really big because people, I don't know, thought they were going to be collectible. And 
uh, Marvel pretty much almost went bankrupt from that boom, became a big bust. And if it wasn't for Joe Quesada in the early 2000s, Marvel would have probably went bankrupt and comics would no longer have been relevant in today's society. But thanks to him, comics are at an all-time high and we're making crazy good movies. I, I guess due to the uh, boo, due to the bust, due to the bust of comic books, we lost some great licenses to 20th Century Fox, who have officially fucked up some of those movies. Yeah, that's right, I said it. I don't know how X Men's gonna go though. Uh, the whole time travel thing kind of got me worried. I know it's gonna be a Wolverine-centered movie again, but whatevs, give it a shot. I go to every Marvel movie made by 20th Century Fox, hoping, hey, this is gonna be the one that I'm gonna love. And I get disappointed every freaking time. I think the last uh, 20th Century Fox movie that I really enjoyed from Marvel was X-Men 2. Or Spider-Man 2. Whichever one of those came out first. But then after that, I thought it was just a downward spiral. Oddly enough, I really liked Fantastic Four. Did you like Fantastic Four? Kind of getting off track of comic books here and movies. <laughs> this is dominantly a, a video game channel. Dang it. Uh, somebody asked me how I... I clean my games, really what I use is a higher percentage alcohol on a Q-tip, and I just scrub it. The higher the percentage alcohol, the faster it'll evaporate, because really you don't want uh, too much moisture staying on your contacts. But I know some people use on a window cleaner, I've heard of, and oven cleaner, I guess for really caked on stuff, but to me alcohol does the trick. I don't know if it's the best way to do it, but that's what I do, so whatever. Check out Stone Age Gamer, I'm sure they have all the great tips, you can check it out there. I've really been behind on my YouTube watching, sorry everybody. I've been busy every day off or every time after work. Really what I'm doing is this retro video game event. It's the first one so you kind of have to uh, expect that. I guess it started off as my brainchild. Not that I was the only one in the city who wanted something like this, but slowly you gotta start giving tasks to other people slowly. And really you're not gonna get stronger on the back of one person for something like this. Really we're a community driven initiative. You need to kind of delegate tasks to other people, otherwise, you know, you, I can only one person. I can't, I can't update everything. So the bigger we get, hopefully next year we can do another retro video game event and they get bigger and bigger. And I'm calling Nintendo and saying, Nintendo, come to Winnipeg Midwest Gaming Expo. You are the inspiration. Anti1138, thank you everyone who commented words of encouragement to him. I will share those with him on Facebook. You know what I'm scared of here? We have six and seven and eight foot high snow banks in Winnipeg right now. And when that shit melts, you know what's going into my freaking foundation. I'm just lucky I have a, a sump pump and I have really good weeping tiles. For people in the States who don't know what I'm talking about, it's because you don't freaking have snow like we do. Polar vortex. So that's it for me today. Cheers to you. Thank you for joining me for Headbutt Coffee. Natural spring water. This is the cheapo bottle water brand. Uh, so that's it. Please comment below. Let me know what you th thought or if you have any ideas or comments. I'll try to respond to them in the next videos coming. I'll do a better job at responding to them. I'll actually have names of people who, who responded to. So thank you guys very much for watching. Peace.